What's happening guys? Welcome back to the show. I hope you're having a great day wherever you are out there in the world. Two brand new tins just dropped on us in the Pokemon trading card game, the V Strikers tins. These things are seriously awesome. They've got five packs of cards in each one and a promo card featuring either Tyranitar V or Empoleon V. And from what I've heard, it seems one pack inside is different based on which store you get the tins from. Both of these are from GameStop, so we're gonna open them up today, find out what that extra pack is inside, see if we can add some cards to the binder. I've also got some Chilling Rain boosters we're gonna open, cause you know we gotta pull some of those amazing alternate arts. I also just wanted to say a huge thank you to everyone. At the time of recording this, the channel is about to hit 6,000 subscribers and I seriously cannot thank everyone enough for this. Each and every one of you is helping me chase my dreams and it really, really does mean the world to me. So if you haven't already, drop a like, drop a sub, and let's find out what's inside these tins. All right, let's start out with the Empoleon V tin. Let's take a look at this tin first. You get some pretty cool Empoleon art on the front. You can see the Empoleon V promo card in there. Let's take a look at the back. It's gonna tell you that you're gonna get a promo card, five TCG booster packs, and one online code card. Now over on the side here, it'll say, uh, you know, Sword and Shield series, Sun and Moon series, XY series. Does that mean that there'll be XY inside? Some tins and products like this in the past, you could kind of get an idea based on what it said right here for what's inside, but I really don't think there's gonna be any XY in here. But there's only one way to find out. Let's open this up. We don't need a special, Tyranitar, or we don't need the Lucky Charizard pin today. We can just tear right into this. All this plastic off. Very gracefully tear all this plastic off. All right. And let's see what packs we get inside. Oh, first let's check out. Bam, let's pull this. Promo out here. Here's a code card for you for the tin. And there we go, Empoleon V promo pretty cool very off center but that's okay the artwork on this for a promo is pretty awesome we're gonna drop it into a sleeve here bam oh if i can bam and we'll start the pull pile off with our Empoleon v promo okay one battle styles two battle styles one darkness of blaze one sword and shield base and Guardians Rising. Okay, so it looks like Guardians Rising might be the pack that you get from all of the GameStop pins. Or tins, it could potentially change. I've seen some with Celestial Storm inside. I've even seen some with Unified Minds. So let's start off with the Sword and Shield pack here. I never pulled that Rainbow Rare Lapras V Max. I never pulled the Full Art Marnie or the Rainbow Rare Marnie. So let's see if we can grab one of those today. Fire Energy starting us out. Dottler, Energy Switch, Quill Fish, Score Bunny. It's fun to open Sword and Shield base. I kinda, kinda miss opening this. Diglett, Goldeen, Kaparaja for our reverse, and Thievil stole our pull. Non-holo for our first rare. Let's get into some Darkness Ablaze. Tons of really awesome cards in this set. Lots of rainbow rares. There's the VMAX Charizard code for you. Let's see if we can pull another one. Ooh, fire energy again, okay. Rose, Vanellish, Poltegeist, Skarmory. Always fun opening Darkness of Blaze. I did a, a series where I put my whole Darkness of Blaze binder together. I'll link you up to you in the description here. Bounce Sweet for our reverse and Diggersby for our non holo rare. Okay, so far two packs in, nothing out of here. Let's see what Guardians Rising has for us. Will this be the hit from the tin? How many hits do you think a tin like this would average? Technically you could pull something out of every pack, but it feels like you typically get one to two pulls. Altar of the Moon, <laughs> Helioptile, Beldum, Tentacool, Clefairy, Barboach, Chandelure for our reverse. What do you got for us, Guardians Rising? <laughs> Tapu Lele GX. Very cool. Decent centering, too, also on that. Usually the GX cards that I've pulled have been pretty miscut or off center, but this one's looking great. Tapu Lele GX going into a sleeve and going onto the pull pile. Bam. First hit from the Empoleon V10, and we got two left. How fitting is that? Tyranitar and Empoleon for our Battle Styles packs. 
just like the tins we've got. Now I've opened quite a bit of battle styles so far. I have yet really pull anything huge. I did hit the gold Houndoom and that was pretty awesome, but you know I still need one of those alternate art Tyranitars or the Rapid Strike Urshifu VMAX would be really awesome. Fighting energy, let's fight our way through this pack. Well, there's some edge damage on that one already. Single Strike, Bell Sprout, Onyx, Spiro, Sizzlepeed, Shinx, it was almost a Kanto pack. Salazzle for our reverse and non hollow Licky Licky for our rare. Okay, so far, one GX hit from this tin. Can this last pack here from Battle Styles save the pull rate on the Empoleon tin? Bam, code for you. And we have Electric Energy. All right, feeling charged up. Buffalant, Crawdon, Grumpig. Electabuzz, Gilgar, Glilgar, Glilgar, Bronzor, Murkrow, Carnivine for our reverse and battle styles, non hollow, Jellicent for our rare. That looks like one pull from the first tin, the Tapu Lele GX. Let's pause on the tins and let's rip some chilling rain and then we'll finish with the Tyranitar V tin. If you've seen my last few Chilling Rain openings so far, I hit some pretty awesome full arts. Let's see if we can add some to the binder today. Four to the front. Chilling Rain has been such an awesome set to open. Darkness Energy. We've got Kakuna, Flannery, Rugged Helmet, Galarian Yamas, Coffin, Shuppet, Scovit, Sveal, Grookey Reverse. What do you got? Porygon Z Hollow, very cool. Definitely one that I needed for the binder. And even though it's a hollow, look how cool that background art is. That's pretty awesome. Putting you on the pull pile. We'll do the rest of the chillin' rain here. Got one more pack after this one. I'm really curious what my first alternate art bird pull will be. It'd be really cool if it was Articuno. I have a feeling it's gonna be Zapdos though. Let's see. How crazy would it be if it was this pack? Metal Energy, Karen's Conviction, Echoing Horn, Single Strike Scroll, Sneasel. We got Galarian Farfetch'd, Furfro, Venipede, Sfeel, Brawly for our reverse. Let's see it, Chilling Rain, Blissey V. There we go. I'm pretty sure this is the first Blissey V that I've pulled. Not the greatest centering also on this one, but let's drop it in the sleeve. You know what, actually I did pull this one already. The Blissey V alternate art is a very awesome looking card. One I definitely want to add to the binder. Okay, can we go last pack magic? Technically that's two for two on the Chilling Rain blisters. Had some pretty good luck with the Chilling Rain single packs. Let's see if we can add one more pull out of here. Bam. Four to the front for Chilling Rain. And we've got water, oop, water energy. All right, Celio. Clara, Haunter, the Gengar in this set is very awesome too. Weedle, Cast Form, Quillfish, Ralts, Dana Tree Hill. Can we go three for three on Chilling Rain? Technically we did, we got a Weavile Hollow, one that I've pulled already, but a Hollow nonetheless. So you're going on to the pull pile and we're moving on to the Tyranitar V10. Five more packs in here. Can this Tyranitar tin save the day? If you've opened any of these yet, let me know what you've pulled. If it was sort of similar, you know, one hit per tin, or if you got a really stacked tin and pulled five hits, five hollows or better out of it. Let's look at this Tyranitar V promo. I think this artwork is awesome. He's pulling his hand back there. Very cool. Slightly better centering too than the Empoleon. Let's drop you in a sleeve. Bam, onto the pull pile. Code card for you from the Tyranitar V10. And will we have the same packs? I'm pretty sure we will. Battle Styles, Battle Styles, Darkness Ablaze, Sword and Shield Base, and Guardians Rising. Nearly the same pack art on all of them too. Let's start off with the Sword and Shield. See if we can add that Marnie or the Lapras Hyper Rare VMAX to the pole pile. Fighting Energy. Get this plastic out of the way. Stunfisk, Dottler, Energy Switch, Galarian Meowth, Krogunk, Chincho, Mincio, Rhyhorn, 
Kaparaja for our reverse and Professor's Research for our Hollow. No, after all of the Champion's Path, it is so brutal to see Hollow Professor's Research. Let's do the Guardian Risings pack. Definitely have not opened a lot of Guardian Risings on the show. It's a pack that you can find in kind of a lot of random stuff that was coming out last year. I haven't seen it in a lot of the new products. Fairy Energy, Glalie, Hala, Graveler. Oh, that's some pretty cool Graveler artwork though. Look at that. Slowpoke, Machop, Helioptile, Murkrow, Alolan Sandshrew, Ori Cori, or I've never seen this one. And let me just, let me real quick, let me just say that. When some people watch a lot of Pokemon openings, they assume, oh, this person is the absolute Pokemon master. You know, if, if there's one that they don't know or they don't say it right, then they're not the greatest, you know, Pokemon fan. But to me, that's the equivalent of going up to someone wearing the band shirt and saying like, hey, name five songs, you know? I can't name every single Pokemon, but I love Pokemon. I haven't opened every single set of cards, but I definitely still love Pokemon. So don't let anyone make fun of you or, give you any grief for not pronouncing a name right. That doesn't change how much you love Pokemon. Let's finish this pack. There we go, Aqua Patch Gold. Look at the perfect, almost perfect centering on that too. Very cool, following up the gold level ball pull from the other day, you know that this is on the wheel right now. Aqua Patch going into the sleeve. Gonna have to start another page of gold cards in the binder. And that, we still got three packs left here, right on. Definitely was not expecting a gold pull out of this tin. Let's see what Darkness Ablaze has for us. Code card for you. Four to the front. And we got fire energy today. It's like we mostly just been pulling fire energy. Relincan, Bundle D, Vanillite, Goth Gothita, Nicket, Shelmet, Pan pour for our reverse, Darkness Ablaze, Arctivish, non hollow for our rare. We got two packs left, two battle styles here. Let's see if the Empoleon packs can save the day from the Tyranitar V Striker tin. Here we go. For, oh, look at that. Weird uh, edge damage on some of the battle style packs. Here we go, Fighting Energy, Weeping Bell with the Kanto vibes, XP Share, Purgly, Chimico, Honage, got the Horsey with more Kanto vibes, and Mankey, Galarian Slowpoke, Aegislash for our reverse. Can we get something out of this pack? Tyranitar V, there we go, from the Tyranitar V pack. How awesome is that? Let's drop this in a sleeve. Just a little off center there, but I'll take a Tyranitar V any day. And we have the last pack. So technically, pretty good hits from this tin. But can we go last pack magic? Make up for some of the misses in that first tin. Here we go, four to the front. How crazy would one of the alternate arts be from a V Strikers tin? Bruno, Carcoal, Pignite, Ponard, Timber, Tepig, Glammeow, Silicobra, Tower of Waters for our reverse. Can we get some last pack magic? Necrozma V, there we go. Another V pull. So this tin definitely made up for the missing pulls from that first tin. Better centering on this one too. Let's drop you in a sleeve. Bam. So I'm gonna go ahead and say grab those V Striker tins if you find them. I think it's a pretty cool pack selection there and you definitely have a chance of getting some cool pulls. But as always, Pulge Pals, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like, drop a sub. I post a new one every Wednesday and every Saturday. But until then, be safe, have fun, keep collecting, and I'll see you in these next videos.